Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And today we're going to just go through how to take screenshots on the Motorola Moto G13. This method is likely to work with all Motorola phones as well as the vast majority of Android smartphones. So this might be useful to you, even though you don't have this extremely affordable Motorola Moto G13 device. Now the first thing to do is obviously to turn on the phone and make sure it's unlocked. You can do that really easily using your um, fingerprint scanner on the side. And then find the screen you want to take a screenshot of. In this case I'm going to take a screenshot of the BBC Scores and Fixtures, uh, fixtures uh, page on the BBC website. Specifically, I want to highlight that Germany-Scotland score, 5-1. Well done, Germany. So the way to do it is to find the buttons on the side, and specifically we're going to be looking at the volume up and down rocker and the power button. And the way to take your screenshot is to, at the same time, press volume down and power. And then that takes a screenshot, so just a quick tap of volume down and power. So let's do it again. There we go. And then once that's done, you'll be able to work on that screenshot you took and edit it. This is going to use the, the Google Photos uh, photo editor. So you can enhance it, change the details, you can crop the image. So as I said, I want to focus on just the BBC Sport bit and that Germany Scotland score. And another fun thing is if you are, for example, on a web page where there is scrollability, what you can do is take that screenshot, so volume down and power, press that together, and then at the bottom of the screen you get capture mode comes up. So what this does, it gives you the full page as it's, it is after you've scrolled, and then you just highlight down for the whole screenshot. This is particularly useful if, for example, you have a lot of text that you want to capture or you want to see what a whole page looks like and share that with someone. And as with the screenshots we took earlier, you can share directly from the little navigation bit here that comes up next to the screenshot and you can send that immediately to someone. In this case, I'll send it to my wife on Telegram. And then once that's done, it's done. So. Long story short, the best way to take screenshots is to just use the volume down and power buttons, tap them, and then follow the menus from there. Um, this is, in my view, uh, a very easy way of taking screenshots. Now, if you have any questions, if you'd like to know more, if this doesn't really work for you, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below. And we'll do our best to get back to you, and if not, uh, we'll, we'll make a dedicated video answering you. But as usual, if you don't already, uh, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, pretty much anything we think makes the travel experience better. And in this case, uh, smartphones and their functionality really do improve the travel experience. So, as I said, if you want more of the, that content, do subscribe to us and I will speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.